Claire Lomas, who was paralysed in a horse riding accident, inspired thousands of other sportsmen and women today. She started the Leicester Marathon. And Claire knows only too well how much of a challenge it is. She's done one herself, the London Marathon, using robotic legs. Callum Watkinson reports. It's a real honour to be asked to do this today. I wish everyone loads of luck. <laughs> With Nottingham's marathon cancelled, Leicester is the East Midlands' only full-length race this year. But the local heroine who started the runners-off is happy to give this one a miss. Excited I'm not having to do it. Um, no, it's really good to be asked to start these guys. I thought after the marathon it might seem a bit flat and quiet, but certainly hasn't been that. So what have you been up to? All sorts of things. Visited schools, injured servicemen, a um, whole range of things. No grimy streets and diesel fumes for these pavement pounders. Most of their route took them through open country. A welcome sight for these runners, the church at Thrussington and the bridge over the River Reek. They're almost halfway. All they have to do now is run back again. Let's give them a really good Leicester welcome. And at the finish, the winner took himself by surprise. I couldn't believe it. I was sort of hoping for about two and, and three hours really, but... Sort of 20 minutes under that is, is brilliant, a first marathon, um, can't really get much better than that, winning your first marathon, so yeah, delighted. Okay, great day, great weather, great people, great city. I think every city should have one, it's brilliant. The route was really good and everything. And things. We saw parts of Leicester that we haven't seen despite living here for the last 10 years, so that was definitely worth it, yeah. As for Claire Lomas, a 17-day marathon isn't enough for her. She's planning to cycle to Paris in April. Callum Watkinson for Central News.